What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are about to do a massive American Metabolics review, as you may have guessed by looking at this table. So, Jason Whitrock was kind enough to send us a massive sampler pack. We have one of every kind of protein they offer. We also have the pre-workouts and the green supplements. Um, Crystal's really been wanting to try these. I've been curious myself. So, we've literally got all of these pre-mixed into a bottle and we're gonna taste test every single one. We've not tried them. We've tried the vanilla cake before, but that was when they were using sucralose. They no longer use sucralose, so we haven't tried it this this way yet. Yeah, just to give you all a quick little breakdown, all these macros are the same for each of these, um, but we have 210 calories per scoop, 17.5 grams of fat, and uh, 219 milligrams worth of sodium. We have 2.6 grams of carbohydrates. That's the same on all of them? Actually, they are. They all do have different macros on them. They're pretty close though. They're all yeah. within like a gram or two. Right. Um, 10.5 grams of protein, so pretty good macro ratio. Mm -hmm. And ingredients, they have whole egg powder, dehydrated butter powder, coconut water powder, natural flavors, organic stevia leaf extract, monk fruit, vitamin C, vitamin E. So not sweetened with sucralose, which is good, mm -hmm. and pretty wholesome ingredients. So. I'm excited to give all of these a try. Me too. Um, so, we're gonna start with the pre-workout, and we worked out this morning, so we recorded a little flashback scene of us trying that, which we'll insert into this video right now. So this is the flashback scene of us trying the pre-workout. This is Keto Pump, and it is the grape flavor. I've been so waiting to try this for way too long. So waiting to try it for... I've been really excited about it. All right. So. Let's get... I'm going to drink a little bit more than that. So I get you one of these funnels, first of all. This thing is like a lifesaver. Keto Tell pump. Tell people where you at that funnel. I don't know where I got the funnel. Where did I get the funnel? Get one. I don't know. I don't know where I got the funnel. It's handy though. People always ask though. You're like, oh, get this. And they're like, what? Where did you get? I like grape flavor. Do they smell? Does it pass the smell test? Um, it doesn't smell like much, which I'm fine with. Yeah, it doesn't smell like much. I've been told that this isn't like, I don't know. I'm not even going to get to it because I want to just like taste it and like feel it. I just woke up, so I look really tired too. You just woke up? All right. Here's a, a full scoop for me. How much caffeine's in there? I'm gonna read off some of the ingredients here in just a little bit. All right, so for your information, after she does that, one, full scoop of the keto pump. There's 25 servings per container. Um, we have uh, five grams of C8 medium chain triglycerides. So pretty excited about that. Yeah, um, we have L-citrulline, which is good. We have creatine monohydrate, three grams of that, which is good. Taurine, one gram. Um, acetyl L-carnitine, HCL, 750 milligrams. Um, tyrosine, 350 milligrams. I'm a fan of tyrosine, so I like that a lot. Uh, norvaline, I'm not sure what norvaline, it's an amino acid, but I'm not sure what it's specifically used for. 300 milligrams of that, I'll look into that one. Um, caffeine, we got 225 milligrams, so pretty ample amount of caffeine. Um, and then we have cytocholine, uh, just a bunch of pre-workout based stuff, basically. So. Let's see here, 225 milligrams caffeine, the L-tyrosine, creatine on 100, citrulline. I'm glad that it doesn't have the beta alanine in there. I'm not a fan of beta alanine. So, you love beta alanine? Yeah. Crazy. All right. Shake it, baby, shake it. Cheers. By the way, huge shout out to Jason Whitrock for hooking us up Seriously. with this stuff. Look. 
can't zoom in, but there he is. I like it. Oh, that's good. That's so good. It mixes really well. Oh, that's so good. A little, little bit of settling at the bottom, but... So you can keep shaking it until it's gone. Yeah, and it's not an official shaker bottle. <clears throat> that's so good. I like, I hate powders. Like, I hate drinking powders. And I'm just, like, starting to get used to it. So, like, the, the Keto Elite powder that I've been using lately is, like, the only powder that I've been able to, like, actually get in. And now this. Yeah. It's like not overpoweringly sweet, which I can't, I cannot, especially since we work out so early in the morning, I hate drinking something that's like overwhelmingly sweet. And this is just like. But, so it, it passes the ingredient test, it passes the taste test, but does it pass the most important test of all, which is does it improve my workouts? So we're about to go train. We're training back and biceps today. So we will holler back at you after that workout and let you know if we can tell a difference. Sound good? Yeah, we're doing back and what? Biceps. Back and biceps. Oh, that's a perfect day to try this. Yeah. So we'll see if we get a true keto bump. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished up our workout. How was it? It was honestly a pretty crazy workout. Yeah. We got crazy. like four interruptions. There was a fire. There was chaos. So it's we got. the weirdest day for this to happen. Yeah. It got broken up like four times. But let that be a testament to how good this stuff is because every time it got interrupted, we came back and we kept on training. That's true. You know? We did. So, yeah, the one thing I noticed about this that I liked a lot is that it does not give you the crazy, itchy, jitter feeling, which I hate. So, in fact, I had this and I probably worked on the computer for like 30 minutes or so before we actually started training. And I never got the jitters, like the, the itchy feeling at all mm -hmm. during that interval. With most pre-workouts, I can take it. And then if I don't start training, and even when I do start training, I just feel hot and itchy and antsy. And I didn't notice that with this, so. It's a good thing. Yeah, I am a fan of that. Yeah. I I could definitely feel it kick in. Like I was just like chatty Kathy. Like and this was before we like I was over there with the employees talking and getting set for the day and I really felt like I was just like I had the energy to go work out. I was like I got to I got to go cuz I got to go work out and get rid of this energy. But I usually don't take this much caffeine at one time anyways, but I I do take one like about one caffeine drink a day, so this would be like my caffeinated item and I'm totally happy with that because I have no reason to like need caffeine later on in the day so this like gets me up gets me going for my workout and then I'm good for the rest of the day I normally what I've been doing is I've been taking 120 milligrams of caffeine in the form of those Zevia energy drinks before I work out and I'll normally have one more of those at some point later in the day so 240 milligrams total this is 200 what did I say 225 milligrams total so what I'm gonna try and do today is not have the second or an, another source of caffeine so basically just this be my only source of caffeine for the day and see if I stay steady um, also I forgot to mention this stuff is sweetened with stevia leaf extract Whereas most pre-workouts are sweetened with sucralose and acesulfame, potassium, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. that's a huge plus as well. We're pretty picky on like what we take. Like Robert yeah. got like this other pre-workout from Whole Foods and it was like all natural and wonderful and it tasted disgusting. Yeah. So the fact that this is like all good stuff and it tastes delicious and it's not like overpoweringly sweet is awesome. Like I'm super stoked about it. Yeah. So. As far as pre-workouts go, I vouch for this one. Um, All about it. I'm, I'm excited to start using There's a watermelon flavor as well. This one was grape, right? Yeah, I'm really excited about the watermelon. I've really been wanting to try the watermelon, but the grape was way better than I thought. I've never been a grape person, but I really liked that. Yes, I did too. So pass the workout test. Bam. Thank you guys and gals. All right, and now we are back from that. So pretty good review on the pre-workout. We haven't tried the watermelon, but we're excited to try the watermelon keto pump. So we're gonna start from down here. 
with the Greens Keto Superfood. 1.3 grams net carbs per serving. And let's see here, we have uh, 4.9 grams total, 35 calories, um, 3.6 grams of fiber. And I'm just gonna go ahead and read off these ingredients because they're green based. So we got organic alfa yeah, organic alfalfa grass, organic wheat grass, organic barley grass, organic lemon, organic kotu cola, organic kale, organic astragalus, organic spirulina, organic bitter melon, organic oat grass, organic chlorella. And then we have a bunch of berries too. So acacia berry, organic amala fruit, just a bunch of stuff. I'm <laughs> going on a laundry list here. But it is sweetened with stevia leaf as well and monk fruit. So this one does have organic rice maltodextrin and tapioca maltodextrin in there, but those are the last two ingredients, so probably not a whole lot of that. Um, with green supplements, my goal is... Be able to drink it? Yeah, it'd be tolerable. Uh, I've a, never... Yeah, we've had a ton of different kinds, and they've all been, like, pretty gross. The last one we had wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah, they're all gross, so if this one's drinkable. at least drinkable, it wins. Um, mm -hmm. You want to try it first? Yeah, because I don't want to see your face. Okay. Ugh. Give it a shot. What? Is it good? It tastes like tea. That tastes like straight up tea. Like iced tea. It stinks, but it does taste really good. It's really sweet. It's like a sweet green tea. Okay, so I'm <laughs> I'm I'm pretty impressed like, here. I wanna actually just drink that. Oh man, that's I'm like a I'm pretty impressed here. Tea. This is the first green supplement that I actually like the way it tastes, wow. not just not just tolerate. Wow, I I like it. We keep going back for more, so that's a that's a good sign. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So mm, I was impressed. I made us try that first because I was so afraid it was gonna be disgusting. Yeah. How are um. Teeth? So let's go how to. Teeth? <laughs> how are your teeth? Good. Let's go to the vanilla cake mm. first. That's pretty good. Kind of watery, but I probably mm. put a little bit too much water in there as well. I put these probably in about 12 to 13 ounces of water, whereas it calls for about 8 to 10. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. I've had that flavor before. I haven't had it with the um, stevia in it. I had it with the sucralose, but it tastes very similar. So I, I really like it. We used to put it in our pancakes a lot. They do make the best pancakes. They do make the best pancakes. Yeah. So we used to use it a lot in our pancakes and stuff. So I. I like it a lot. I've just had it before. All right. Now chocolate. let's try the chocolate. Sure. It's really good. Oh, that's like chocolate milk. Yeah, it's got like a nice aftertaste. It's like a lot of protein powders that are chocolate have like this bitter, gross, mm. fake chocolate aftertaste, but this is that pretty like good. Nesquik. I would probably make this mm. in like almond milk and then maybe even heat it up and that'd probably be mm. pretty similar to hot cocoa. Yeah, that's really good. Now we get into the exotic flavors. Exotic. We have blue <laughs> blueberry cheesecake. You want me to try it first on all of them, huh? Yeah, I'll let you. Blueberry cheesecake. Oddly enough, I'm like getting full. Like my tummy's getting full from these. But you, can't, you can't take two sips. I gotta try some. That's pretty good. I definitely taste blueberries. Ooh. Mmm. Pretty good. Mm. That one's my favorite so far. Wow, that's delicious. Favorite so far? Oh yeah, yeah. That's 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 delicious. This is peanut butter. Peanut butter? Peanut butter cookie, which I have a feeling peanut this one's going to be my favorite because I love peanut butter. Like, my tummy is full and I haven't even had that much. That's awesome. 
That's pretty good, but I think I still like this one more than that one. Blueberry cheesecake still has my heart. Oh, not not as much my favorite as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. But I feel like this one had more water than the other one. Yeah, I feel like that would be good in a pancake too, though. Mm. Like it'd be like a subtle. Yeah. Yeah. It is good. It is good. Just would pick this over it. Yeah. It is good though. Now this is the one I'm most excited to try, which is peppermint bark. Oh yeah, I love peppermint bark. Mm. I wish I had this during winter, like winter, well it is winter, but during like Christmas time, because then you can make hot chocolate out of it. I actually don't know how this mixes with hot drinks, but I'm sure it will. It definitely tastes seasonal. Oh, I like that. You like that one? Mm -hmm. The peppermint bark? That's definitely something I would want to drink like during the holidays. Like I, I definitely would, yeah. I still think this is my favorite though, which is the blueberry cheesecake. So I think given the options. Let me try that one. Yeah, that one's my favorite for sure. I think I would do first, second, Third, fourth, fifth. I think I would, honestly, I think I would say first, second, third, fourth, fifth. This one's first, the chocolate I one. liked the chocolate a lot. The chocolate so is really like good. Really smooth, really easy to get down. And yeah. then this one, because it's fun. And then I just really liked this peppermint bark one. And we're really impressed by the greens. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. Like, I would actually drink that, like, without someone having to force me. So, in conclusion, huge shout out to Jason for hooking us up with these to try. Yeah. I, I vouch for them, they're good. They got clean ingredients. Yeah. So, get you some. I think both Jason Whitrock and Goody Beats have their own discount codes mm -hmm. for these. They're like pretty substantial discount codes too, like 20 or 30%. Wow. So check out, I don't know what they are off the top of my head, but they're on their YouTube, they're on their Instagram. So check those out and get you a deal and stock up on these if you're wanting to try something that's on the table here. It's super um, good, good quality stuff. And they actually took the time to like make it and refine it for specifically keto. Yeah, and they're, you know, they're, they both use ke the ketogenic diet, so. For sure. So thanks again, y'all. Appreciate it. Let us know if you want us to do more of these review videos of specific ketogenic things. Yeah. We've got a pretty good setup now with a table and the whiteboards and the logo. So. Or, or if you have ideas of things that we could review. Yeah, for sure. And thanks again, Jason, for sending this to us. So yeah. Appreciate y'all. Talk to you later.